Students, we will be drawing this object using Onshape today. In Onshape, once you log in, you will have the option to create a new project or documents. So in this case, I'm going to create a document and I'm going to label it drawing number two. And I'll get started. Once I get into this screen, I have to start sketching on one of these default work planes. They're flat surfaces that can be sketched upon. So I need to sketch using the sketch tool and I need to physically select one of these views. I'm going to select the front view or sketch plane or surface, whatever you want to call it. I then will look at it directly head on and then I'm going to draw this object starting here at the origin using my line command. So I left click the line command, I left click on my origin to start my first line. As I start creating this object, I'd like to sketch it reasonably close. And I know this object has a two and a half inch height. And then I'm uh, going to just keep drawing. I should probably back up because that line wasn't perpendicular to the first line drawn. And I'm just going to keep sketching this object reasonably close to uh, the handout that you're going to have in front of you. This needs to come down a little further over. This is an angled feature. And every time I want to place the line, I'm just left clicking and I'm intentionally lining things up. Uh, so things will be in line and it'll help me out later when I start dimensioning. So now I'm going to dimension and I left click on the first line to dimension and it's going to be 2.5. I can dimension my next line and that's going to be 0.5. My next dimension was here, another 0.5. And then across from this line all the way over to this line, two left click selections, this is going to be 2.5. And I also need to dimension here, and this was a depth of 0.75. And once again, I'm just referring to this drawing right here. Back to on shape, I'm going to continue my dimensioning process. It looks like there's a 0.75 here. Once again, left click, place the dimension, type in the dimension, press enter. Left click, left click to place the dimension, type in your dimension, press enter. And another one seen here, this is 3.5. And I have another dimension. Let's see. I have another dimension here, and this is 1.25. Finally, I need to draw a circle, so go to the circle tool, place the circle somewhere in the drawing, and dimension it. Dimensioning that circle, this is going to be a diameter-based dimension. That symbol next to the set of numbers is the diameter symbol. 0.5 is my dimension. And I also need to place a dimension from this side of the drawing all the way to my center point. So I left click the center point, drag this downward, and that should be 2.25. And one last dimension from the very bottom of the object, left click, and then click the center point of this circle. It is up from the bottom, 0.75. That makes this entire object fully constrained. All the lines are black, so it's now ready to be made a three-dimensional object. So that's where I'm going to hit this check mark right here, and it sends me to my three-dimensional mode. I will go to Extrude, open up the Extrusion dialog box. I will use one for my depth. I will select somewhere here to select the sketch and I should have a preview of my three-dimensional object and it's supposed to be one inch. I hit the green check mark again and there is my